How many times a week do you use a computer? For some of us, the answer might be a lot. There are incredible machines that let us do everything from using specialized applications when completing a task at work to sending emails to loved ones in a distant place. Have you ever thought about how computers can do all of this? Well, that's where operating systems come in. In this section, we'll learn about common operating systems and we'll explore the main functions of an operating system. Then, We'll learn the relationship between operating systems, applications, and hardware. Finally, we'll compare graphical user interfaces and command line interfaces. The command line interface will be an essential part of your job as a security analyst. Understanding operating systems is an important foundation for your career in security. There's so much to explore. Let's begin. Devices like computers, smartphones, and tablets all have operating systems. If you've used a desktop or laptop computer, you may have used the Windows or Mac OS operating systems. Smartphones and tablets run on mobile operating systems like Android and iOS. Another popular operating system is Linux. Linux is used in the security industry, and as a security professional, it's likely that you'll interact with the Linux OS. So what exactly is an operating system? It's the interface between the computer hardware and the user. The operating system, or the OS, as it's commonly called, is responsible for making the computer run as efficiently as possible while also making it easy to use. Hardware may be another new term. Hardware refers to the physical components of a computer. The OS interface that we now rely on every day is something that early computers didn't have. In the 1950s, the biggest challenge with early computers was the amount of time it took to run a computer program. At the time, computers could not run multiple programs simultaneously. Instead, people had to wait for a program to finish running, reset the computer, and load up the new program. Imagine having to turn your computer on and off each time you had to open a new application. It would take a long time to complete a simple task, like sending an email. Since then, operating systems have evolved, and we no longer have to worry about wasting time in this way. Thanks to operating systems and their evolution, Today's computers run efficiently. They run multiple applications at once, and they also access external devices like printers, keyboards, and mice. Another reason why operating systems are important is that they help humans and computers communicate with each other. Computers communicate in a language called binary, which consists of zeros and ones. The OS provides an interface to bridge this communication gap between the user and the computer, allowing you to interact with the computer in complex ways. Operating systems were critical for the use of computers. Likewise, OS security is also critical for the security of a computer. This involves securing files, data access, and user authentication to help protect and prevent against threats, such as viruses, worms, and malware. Knowing how operating systems work is essential for completing different security-related tasks. For example, as a security analyst, you may be responsible for configuring and maintaining the security of a system by managing access. You may also be responsible for managing and configuring firewalls, setting security policies, enabling virus protection, and performing auditing, accounting, and logging to detect unusual behavior. The job of an OS is to help other computer programs run efficiently. The OS does this by taking care of all the messy details related to controlling the computer's hardware, so you don't have to. First, Let's see what happens when you turn on the computer. When you press the power button, you're interacting with the hardware. This boosts the computer and brings up the operating system. Booting the computer means that a special microchip called the BIOS is activated. On many computers built after 2007, the chip was replaced by the UEFI. Both BIOS and UEFI contain booting instructions that are responsible for loading a special program called the bootloader. Then, the bootloader is responsible for starting the operating system. And just like that, your computer is on. As a security analyst, understanding these processes can be helpful for you. Vulnerabilities can occur in something like a booting process. Often, the BIOS is not scanned by the antivirus software, so it can be vulnerable to malware infection. Now that you learned how to boot the operating system, let's look at how you and all users communicate with the system to complete a task. The process starts with you, the user. And to complete tasks, you use applications on your computer. An application is a program that performs a specific task. When you do this, the application sends your request to the operating system. 
From there, the operating system interprets this request and directs it to the appropriate component of the computer's hardware. In the previous video, we learned that the hardware consists of all the physical components of the computer. The hardware will also send information back to the operating system, and this in turn is sent back to the application. Let's give a simple overview of how this works when you want to use the calculator on your computer. You use your mouse to click on the calculator application on your computer. When you type in the number you want to calculate, the application communicates with the operating system. Your operating system then sends a calculation to a component of the hardware, the central processing unit, or CPU. Once the hardware does the work of determining the final number, it sends the answer back to your operating system. Then it can be displayed in your calculator application. Understanding this process is helpful when investigating security events. Security analysts should be able to trace back through this process flow to analyze where a security event could have occurred. Just like a mechanic needs to understand the inner workings of a car more than an average driver. Recognizing how operating systems work is important knowledge for a security analyst. Now we're ready to discuss a different aspect of your operating system. Not only does the OS interact with other parts of your computer, but it's also responsible for managing the resources of the system. This is a big task that requires a lot of balance to make sure all the resources of the computer are used efficiently. Think of this like the concept of energy. A person needs energy to complete different tasks. Some tasks need more energy, while others require less. For example, going for a run requires more energy than watching TV. A computer's OS also needs to make sure that it has enough energy to function correctly for certain tasks. Running an antivirus scan on your computer will use more energy than using the calculator application. Imagine your computer is an orchestra. Many different instruments like violins, drums, and trumpets are all part of the orchestra. An orchestra also has a conductor to direct the flow of the music. In a computer, the OS is the conductor. The OS handles resource and memory management to ensure the limited capacity of the computer system is used where it's needed most. A variety of programs, tasks, and processes are constantly competing for the resources of the central processing unit, or CPU. They all have their own reasons why they need memory, storage, and input-output bandwidth. The OS is responsible for ensuring that each program is allocating and deallocating resources. All this occurs in your computer at the same time so that your system functions efficiently. Much of this is hidden from you as a user. For example, your browser's task manager will list all of the tasks that are being processed along with their memory and CPU usage. As an analyst, it's helpful to know where a system's resources are used. Understanding usage of resources can help you respond to an incident and troubleshoot applications in the system.